Hello guys, Tony Yone here from Coding for Youths. Uh, welcome to uh, the thirteenth video in this in this Python series. I've been doing. Uh, we've had uh, 12, 12 lessons already. Um, uh, but before we continue in this particular lesson, I'd like to encourage you to try a bit of code every day. Ensure you write. You spend some time, even if it is just one hour, to write. You know, you know, code. Uh, and that's all the resources we have online. Uh, if you have, if you encounter any problem, you can always get help from online. And also, there are other uh, wonderful lessons uh, you can get here on YouTube. Uh, so I want to encourage you to utilize all these resources. And of course, before you know it, you're already a professional. Uh, so in the previous video, we, we talked about the bullying. Uh, uh, Boolean's uh, data type, uh, but before we proceed with other data types, uh, in this video I just want to take the, uh, take this uh, opportunity, make, use this opportunity to talk about uh, Python operators. Okay, uh, operators uh, they are very useful. Uh, virtually most of the things we'll be doing, we'll be talking about, uh, we'll be dealing with uh, using operators. Now I want to say that uh, operators. Uh, are used to perform operations on, va on variables, on variables rather, uh, and values. Okay, so we've we've seen the example in the previous video where we compare two value, uh, two values or two variables uh, using an operator. Okay, now uh, Python actually divides uh, operators in into groups. Okay, we have the arithmetic operators. <laughs> Uh, we have the assignment operators, which I'm going to be talking about. Um, let me just uh, maybe show you examples as I discuss it. So uh, the first one I mentioned is um, we have the arithmetic, arithmetic operators, arithmetic operators. Uh, example, we have uh, here, we have the plus uh, addition uh, minus uh, subtraction and then we have the multiplication uh, we have the multi multiplication of our uh, operator we also there's addition subtraction multiplication we also have the division like this operator um, used in, div in division and then we have the modulus operator uh, percentage we also have the exponential or exponential exponential operator which is like this I'll be showing you examples a little bit then we have the floor division which is like this so we're going to be looking at a few examples of these uh, various operators okay so uh, mm, we'll, the ones that are not too common the ones that are not too common will also look at uh, those ones. Uh, I believe uh, uh, you know uh, these other ones. Uh, of course, you can print. Let's look at the first one, the addition. We can say, let me just assign to, uh, we can say x, uh, y is equal to 10, 11. Uh, let me say 10 and 9 like we had in our previous uh, if you print x here you see we have 10 uh, what if you if you print y uh, you have 9 right okay so I decided to declare these two variables on the same line so you can see what I'm doing so uh, using using the first one the addition operator uh, we have we can say x plus y uh, this will give us uh, 19 right uh, what about um, um, what about um, you say x plus y will give us 19 okay let's look at let's look at the uh, subtraction uh, we say x minus y this should give us 1, right? Because nine, uh, 10 minus 1 will give us, 10 minus 9 will give us 1. 
auto body multiplication uh, operator <coughs> we come here we say multiplication uh, let's save this my mind this she was 90 right 90 of course uh, what about the division operator save this and this should give us uh, 1.111 of course now let's let's talk about uh, the the modulus operator let's see how it works uh, the modulus operator is actually used to check a, remind, a remainder when a particular uh, value is divided by the other okay so, so if 9 is divided by 10 it will give us one remainder one all right so if you see x modulus y the answer should be one right uh, because in 10 right, 10 would divide 9 one time and it's going to remain two and uh, one rather what about if this was eight the answer should be two right because 10 would divide eight plus one time and it will remain two okay what about if this was seven you see we have, have three okay so the modulus is used to check uh, the remainder when a value is divided by another the other okay what about uh, the exponential operator the exponential operator is used to you know like raise to the power of okay so if you do something like this i'm going to put this to two so this should give me 100 right okay if you run this you have 100 uh, because 2 raised to uh, 10 raised to the power of 2 it give us 100 that's simply saying uh, you can come here you can say this simply saying 10 times 10 like s times x right like this if we run this we have 100 also okay so the expo exponential exponential operator you want to do you want to do raise the power of you use double asterisk so like this double asterisk and y so we have 100 okay we change this to three we have a thousand uh, okay so that's uh exponential operator now what about the floor division okay the floor division actually runs the result down to the nearest whole number uh, so you know if uh, normally if we divide 10 by if we divide 10 by 3 this will give us uh, you know uh, a floating point number right now using the floor division we can round up this to a whole number so we we'll have something like this 3 it will help you to round it up now uh, what if we have something like 4 to help you to round up round it up to two because if you check the normal division you should also give you a floating point number right this this is going to be 2.5 and of course since the the value after the decimal point is greater than four uh, we, we take one from there and add and run it up so it will help you to run it up give you a perfect round up this will give you two uh, okay um that's that's that about um arithmetic operators then we also have uh, assignment operators now assignment operators are used to assign values to variables okay uh, just take note, note of that assignment operators are used to assign uh, values to variables so let's say used to assign values to variables okay i'm going to list out few of the assignment operators we have the equal to sign the equal to okay for equation we have plus or equal to 
we have minus uh, subtractor equal to we have multiplication of equal to we also have we also have division divide or equal to we have uh, let me and this so you see what I'm doing we have modulus equal to we also have floor division or equal to and then we have exponential equal to these are all assignment operators we have ampersands equal to we have equal to or, or equal to we have to equal to we also have greater than or equal to um, we can go to the next line we have uh, next time or equal to these are all examples of uh, of assignments operators uh, we'll be making use of all this uh, uh, maybe now let me just uh, talk a little bit about it uh, this video is going to take a, a little bit long time so I'm going to divide these operators into two two videos two lessons okay um, so I'll just talk about the assignment operator here then we'll talk about comparison operators so let's let's try a few of them uh, 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 for the for the equal to you can just say s is equal to five right what about the uh, the plus or equal to you can equally say x is plus or equal to uh, three okay uh, this is simply this is simply saying or can equally write this as x is equal to x plus three right it's the same thing so uh, i just let me just put this behind you can simply say x is equal to x plus three okay what about the negative or equal to this we can say x like this we have x equal to equal to four and this simply saying x is equal to x minus 4 right so it's the same thing uh, for virtually the rest uh, we can say if it's x uh, the other one is uh, multiplication right so equal to 3 is the same thing as saying x is equal to x multiplied by 3 i believe we get uh, what i'm trying to explain so uh, for the assignment operator this is exactly what it means uh, if 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 uh, you have something like this left hand side you, you you it means you're repeating the same thing on the right hand side okay for instance in case of uh, the greater than let's say we say x is greater than or equal to three right this is simply saying that x is equal to x greater than three right like that so that's that about uh, the assignment uh the assignment operators I would like to end this video here. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in another lesson.